Good evening. It is Monday, January 3rd, 2022, 6.30 p.m. Carney Board of Aldermen meeting. Call the meeting to order. Stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Chief, <clears throat> you had a chance to take roll? I have, Mr. Mayor. All present. Great. Move on to the consent agenda. You'll see the consent agenda presented for this evening. Are there any items of discussion on the consent agenda? I make a motion to approve consent agenda as written. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Consent agenda passes as presented. Uh, no mayor's remarks this evening. We'll move on to the administrative report. Mr. Mayor, uh, we uh, have scheduled a use uh, hearing or use, uh, use tax steering committee a meeting to be on January the 11th, 6:30, and we've received uh, confirmation from the Department of Revenue that the city's uh, sales tax will become effective April 1st, as was planned, so that, that's a confirmation. Uh, in anticipation of our first meeting, we have created a special uh, fund for our use tax, and uh, we have set up a, a tentative budget uh, using the $600,000 as the revenue figure, uh, also showing a, a bond letting that, uh, that would fund both the pickleball uh, complex and uh, the fall park development. And uh, so we've got it categorized just as we have presented to voters. So we're starting out with this uh, this document to share with, with our uh, committee. And uh, our plan is is to, uh, is to, you know, share those things through to that committee so, so they can over, oversee uh, the, that these funds are being dedicated for the purpose that we intended them for. And uh, I... Uh, I um, I think the mayor is going to be out of town for that meeting, but uh, uh, you know it's um, not. I think it's you know this the, it'll be well handled because Dr. Uh, nicely will will be in charge of that. Yeah, that committee's got a good chair and a, a really good slate of residents uh, that'll serve us well there. I uh, also want to remind everybody our next meeting is going to be on a Tuesday, January the 18th, in observance of the Martin Luther King holiday. That concludes my report, Mr. Mayor. We'll move on to public requests and petitions. Mr. Mayor, we do have Kurt Hamilton with us tonight. Uh, he's the executive director of the Kearney Enrichment Council, and he has an annual report. And if uh, you'd like to take the floor. Appreciate it. So uh, a little bit before I arrived, I shared some documents, one being um, kind of a long version of kind of a year in recap of our annual report. Um, we've been doing this for a couple of years now, so this is actually the third one we've produced, which is really exciting. If you want earlier copies of the other ones, if you never saw them, just let me know. Uh, this one's the first one actually not produced by me, by Nikki Snyder, uh, who's a great part of our team. So you can see why it's a little bit cleaner and a little bit more organized. So we're really excited uh, to have her on board. So feel free to look through there to see some of these highlights that I'm going to share with you. Um, but 2021 was a really outstanding year uh, for us over at the Kearney Enrichment Council. Um, May will actually be my third full year uh, over there as a staff, so I'm really excited about that. It seems like uh, time's flying by already, um, but that's a good thing. I've enjoyed it, um, so I'm really excited to start my fourth year uh, down in May. Uh, but some of the things that I wanted to highlight uh, for you know you trusting in us with not only your you know fiscal support but also your community support for letting us do a lot of the things that we get to do is some of these achievements. So I'm going to kind of go down these bullet points on that 2021 KEC highlights that's presented uh, just to show you what some of that's been doing. So our youth programming uh, doubling in the last two years. Uh, 2019, when I came to Kearney and took over the program, uh, if you remember, we had about 12 kids a part of our after-school program, about six on each day. Uh, now we're happy to report that we have about 30 kids on each of these days, which is a really exciting thing. Uh, also, in 2019, we didn't have our summer uh, camp programming anymore, uh, something that hadn't been around for the last year, kind of in that transition of roles. And we brought that back and for 
first year we had about 20 kids, next year 60, and this last year about 88. So a lot of growth in our camps and our youth department. Uh, Jill Clay is the spearhead of this now, along with Nikki Steiner being a part of her team. And we actually employ four high school kids to help us with that as well. Uh, so a different model from when we had the teachers, so a really exciting thing. Uh, but youth programming, which the city supports with our after school program, uh, you can see that your funds are going to good use as we continue to grow um, and share that with our community efforts. Uh, senior programming had another great year. There was um, the highest amount of business that we've had ever, which is great, as well with our building being closed part of that time. Um, so you can see a lot of the seniors getting involved with the programming that we had. So much so that we talked to Shauna at the Kearney Community Foundation about how we could partner together and kind of join forces since we've kind of outgrown our space time after time, and how can we get these seniors at home where they can use it five days a week? Um, so with the senior center being open on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we thought what better way to join forces and to do programming five days a week at the Kearney Senior Center. Uh, so you will see our program staff, Angela and Shelley, over there from now on as they kind of do their programming efforts out of the same building, working with partnership with Kathy Meinhart and the Kearney Senior Center Board. So uh, great relationship has been already established there, and we're excited to see our seniors be able to have a place call home all five days a week. Uh, events, uh, a lot of new events that we had in 2021, one being Oktoberfest, that a lot of people were really excited about and very well attended. Um, you know, some of these events that we've done, uh, you know, it takes a lot of people to bring them to the table, and because of good partners with other 501c3 nonprofits, we were able to make a lot of them a success. Uh, 19,000 attendees is the most we've ever had. The next highest the year before that was around eight or 9,000. So you can see about an extra 10,000 people being brought to our community. A lot of that from out of town as well. So great for the tax base and the sales tax as well. So we're really excited to see that and see that grow as well in the future. The Emergency Rent and Assistance Program, which is a partnership with Clay County, and using the stimulus packet that was passed for uh, COVID relief funds to help people with rent and utility. Um, $150,000 of that being spent in Kearney alone. Um, our agency spending about $800,000 to help residents here in the Northland. Uh, they just awarded us another $325,000 to spend. Uh, only three nonprofits out of the six were asked to continue. So we're really honored to be a part of that. They granted us more program funds to hire another part-time staff to help uh, Mr. Andrew Vaughn, who's our full-time staff, so he's very relieved. Uh, he's been carrying a lot of the burden uh, by his own, so he's excited to see the intern that we had over there, uh, Ella Fotheringham, get promoted into a part-time role until the end of the program. So we're really excited to have both of them on board. Uh, the farmer's market, supporting over 40 entrepreneurs, um, another great thing. Uh, your local farmer's market brings about 13,000 people to it every year. Uh, this is the most it's ever been, doubling what it had last year. About 500 people come uh, per visit. Um, that was to the work of Barbara Haney, who is no longer part of our organization, but still um, you know, a great asset to this community and one that we've replaced with a new staff, and we're excited to see her grow into that role next year. Um, but a farmer's market that's always excited and always bringing new things to uh, our local Kearney. Uh, transportation, which is something, if you remember, you helped us with $20,000 of CARES Act funding. And we are very grateful with that, being matched with Clay County Student Services to provide another 20000 to buy our first shuttle vehicle, um, something that we use, I'm proud to say, seven times a week, and something that I'm proud to say also that has already been used so much that we had to actually purchase a second vehicle. So we had an anonymous donor actually graciously donate $10,000, where we were able to purchase an extended van. Um, it's just arrived. Uh, Jason Pirrett with Eco Wealth Planning has actually graciously donated a lot of time fixing that vehicle up for us, so we hope to have it operational by the end of this month. Uh, our youth program has grown so rapidly that we actually have not enough spaces on that bus, so we're going to send two transportation vehicles out to go pick up all the kids that want to attend our Spark Studios program. Great problem to have, um, and one that we were very um, excited to see a donor step up and fill the need so quickly. Um, so we'll be excited for you to see a second Kearney and Richmond Council vehicle zooming around town. Uh, the building still being used for private events, so over 250 events being held at the firehouse this last year. Um, again, with COVID, um, still a great year for that. We made just as much revenue as we did in the past two years. Um, so great that our community still uses and trusts us as a building for them, for their birthday parties, bridal showers, and everything that they need. 
um, the downtown revitalization project with the splash pad um, as we work together as city and nonprofit to bring something to our community as an amenity. A great thing that we have the luxury of looking out our back window and seeing the community use every day of summer. Um, so we're gracious for that. Um, another thing that we like to incorporate with our events as well is we do movies in the park, seeing kids in the splash pad, and music in the park, seeing kids on the splash pad. So it's one of these things that we've been using the park more than ever. We use it for Oktoberfest. We have planned on using it for more events in the future. So we're really excited to see that project done as it's a home run for our community. Uh, growth, we have four full-time staff and 11 part-time staff. Uh, when I started in 2019, there was really only three or four of us. So it was quite a small, quaint little team. Um, by the end of 2019, there was really only two or three of us when I took over as executive director. Um, so we've really rebuilt to go from three people to 15. And that's something we're really proud to say that we have the funds to support that many people because it takes a large team and a village to be able to pull off a lot of the things that we uh, encounter over at the Enrichment Council. So we're excited to have all those members a part of that. Um, and then our last highlight is we had another donor step up who graciously uh, offered the ability to um, do a matching campaign for looking for a new space uh, so we can grow into. Uh, with all the excitement and all the different things that we've been doing over the past several years, uh, it's time for us to look for hopefully a new chapter and a new building. Uh, one hopefully we could pair with the existing structure that we have. Uh, but also ones that can kind of fit the meet, the needs of all the different things that we have. Um, so with all the different programs and growth, we definitely are now looking at building or renovating or supporting what we already have so we can have that final uh, kind of picture for our organization. So we're excited to have that um, also kicked off by the end of 2021. So 2022, we have a lot of expectation, uh, I feel like, and a lot of growth still on our shoulder. Um, so this is the year of organization and <clears throat> doing some stuff for us. You'll see us at the first half of this year, we're doing a donor campaign to really look for new uh, individual donors. We're asking the community to kind of step up. We have great businesses, we have great partners, um, but a lot of our funding comes from federal, um, a lot of it comes from businesses and a lot of us comes from individuals making large contributions. So we are excited to see if we can get a lot of our community members to step up to kind of make some of those small gifts uh, to kind of keep us running forward. And then in the second uh, few thirds of the year, we'll be going after a building campaign, hopefully to share that with our community to talk about our growth and to get people excited about kind of the future and our next steps of what we have. So that's a little bit of a recap of our last year and kind of where we're going. I would welcome any questions if you had them. So roughly, the city supports uh, the Carnier Street Council by roughly $105,000 a year. 60000 of that is to staffing. Uh, 30000 of that is the, uh, to the program. And then other uh, utilities and expenses like that. Uh, to me, it's it's easy to continue to support you and your organization. Uh, I appreciate the fact that you focus on those multi-generational educational programs and opportunities. Um, but like I said, you've tripled your attendance and you've looked at other funding mechanisms besides the city. You've been great at obtaining grants, um, fundraising, and looking at other opportunities to uh, grow your organization. And uh, like I said, it, for me, it's easy to support you guys when, when you look and see what all you're doing in this community. Thank you. So, I'm looking forward to uh, another exciting year for you guys. Does the yes. board have any questions for Mr. Hamilton? No, I just, um, my wife and I, we're, we're both big fans of yours. And uh, uh, what you've done for uh, the Oktoberfest, things that uh, you helped with the parade and got things going for Christmas and things. Um, Towns grow when there's excitement to the town. And not only are you meeting the needs of the seniors and whatever, you're also keeping that heartbeat of the city going as well and makes people want to come and be a part of that. And that's why Oktoberfest had like 20,000 people down here. And we have a parade that had, you know, all these people along the, the parade route and stuff. Um, those things don't just happen. They, they take work. They take, like you said, your team. and. Um, we're seeing the uh, the benefits of, of that. 
it's easy for people to not see what you do because maybe they're not involved with the seniors or they're not involved with the firehouse. But when you do things like Oktoberfest and the parade, they can't help but see that, hey, there's something going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, uh, that's very special for our town, very special for the people that can be involved with it. And for people from outside our town that, that get to come to Kearney and say, hey, you know, um, Kearney's this kind of regional hub north of the river, and it's really because of people like you. Thank you. The economic development piece of it's kind of a bonus. Yeah, a good bonus. exactly. Yeah. Well, and every dollar that, I mean, you said you support us about $100,000. Uh, I mean, our admin of funds alone besides ERAP is about 300000 now, so about every dollar you give us, we triple it, and then along That's with, great. you know, bringing in the ERAP grant being an extra million dollars to our county, so. Yeah. You know, I, <clears throat> you've done a great job, and you know you were talking about the highlights and and uh, the the senior programming expanding the five days. Um, my mother was was huge into the senior center, one of the founding members of it, and you know before she passed away, we had several talks about. Uh, one of her visions was to see see things happening in in that building um, every day, and and so to to see that come to finally happening is is a credit to you and your staff. And uh, you know the, the seniors of our community are, are very important and. You know, unfortunately, in a lot of communities, they they tend to be overlooked somewhat, and so it's it's great to see um, the Kearney Enrichment Council and, and the City of Kearney with Hall Park, and uh, it's great to see that our seniors aren't being uh, left out. And we we've got a new senior development right next housing development right next to the senior center, so. Um, it's with with that and with the the Christmas parade with Oktoberfest. I'll be perfectly honest. I was a little bit pessimistic about Oktoberfest because I'm not a I don't, I don't do a lot of drinking. Um, but that was fun. That was a lot of fun, and and so. Uh, having the, the time for the kids separate from the time for the adults. Uh, I don't know whose thought that was, but that was that was spot on. So uh, please, please uh, relay to your staff that uh, huge kudos. You guys have done a great job, and 2022 brings bigger and better expectations. Yeah. So. As you know, the I mean, Oktoberfest was the first kind of big festival that we've done as our organization, but the Legends Festival that was on your agenda and you passed in your consent agenda on the last one, which we appreciate. I mean, we, you know, we have a meeting tomorrow kicking off the ideas and the rest of the brainstorming with the layout already pretty much finished and a lot of things getting booked already. So know that you know we're really excited to continue bringing these festivals to our town because we know that they have a lot of draw not only in our city but also outside our city to help not only our businesses but our community members and residents have a good time. Kurt, since uh, like any non-for-profit you rely on partners like the city and businesses as you mentioned but even individuals can contribute mm -hmm. monthly. Yeah. Can, you set, can they set something up recurring to do that? Yep. Uh, so on our website, there's a donut, uh, donate portion. Um, so you can go on there and you can actually select different options to see if you want to set up a reoccurring gift. So that's an option if you want to do it either by card. Um, but there's also different ways where businesses can actually do that as well if they want to set that up so they can partake in different sponsorships. Um, not all businesses are the same, um, but there's equal opportunity if they still want to sponsor at those levels, which we try to create those so that way everybody has an even playing field. Um, but individual donors is something that we really lack in and you know it's us asking for you know people like you guys to help support um, and share our message with other people so that way they make sure that 
um, they can also contribute because you know we can only go back to the businesses so many times and the other charities and organizations do as well. So we don't want to be negative to our partners in any way. We want them to support and get the advertising and the business that they need. Um, so now we're asking our community to kind of step in and be this next step for us so we can continue adding members to our team and also supporting the members that we have now. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you for having me. To hearing about uh, seeing the next day report this time next year. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. There are no public hearings this evening. No old or new business to discuss. So we'll move on to the discussion. Mr. You know, I already expressed to Kurt the enthusiasm that is happening. I've been contacted by a fair amount of seniors and um, they're excited. They're excited for more bingo, for just more opportunities to do things five days a week there at the Senior Center. So many good things going on. It's a good thing, and Happy New Year, Carney. They just want bigger jackpots. I know, <laughs> you know. Alderman Holt? Um, I've actually, something that really touched my heart this week, when. Uh, Friday, the announcement came out that uh, Tom Carey was re retiring. I don't want to say resigning, retiring. And I had several people say, oh, wow, you know, that this is happening. And everybody that's talked about it all had a unique story about Tom, and it was all positive. Um, I think this town as a whole, uh, I think there's a lot of people that um, – they're happy that he's retired because he's been here so long and, and they know, you know, it's time. But I think there's a little sadness to it, too. Everybody's like, oh, man, we're, gonna lo we're losing Tom. And because I think to a lot of people in this town, he may have been police chief, but it's more like we got a friend as a police chief. And I think the people in this town saw Tom as a friend. It's the only police chief I've known since I've been born. Yeah. You know, so. It's so I was really... Uh, Really pleased. My neighbor uh, up the street, you know, Clay Masters, uh, like, man, I can't believe he's going to, you know, and I'm like, I've been here a long time, and, and <laughs> I've heard, I know, but, but you know, it, it, you could just tell, I was like, but man, we're going to miss him, and, you know, I think that this whole community is is dealing with that, and I think that just shows how much love he's put into this community and how much this community loves him back, and I, I just find that very... I know when I get off the board, ain't nobody going to say, oh, man, we're going to miss Dan Holt. But here's Tom. He steps down, and the people this town are saying, wow, we're going to miss Tom Carey. Yeah, I've got a lot of similar feedback and then a lot of good feedback about the board's decision to hire uh, his replacement. Yep, I've heard no negative on that either. Yeah. Uh, I, something I want to verify with Post, but I believe that Chief is actually the longest running chief in the state of Missouri, so that's something to say oh, that right? too, but um, like I said, I, I, I tend to verify that with post, uh, but yeah, it's uh, you replace that tenure in history, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Yeah. Continuity. Yeah. Absolutely. Alderman Lehman? Um, the, my, my fellow board members have talked about a lot of it. Um, the only thing I'd add is is kudos to our street department. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we had a an unusual winter event with with sleet and freezing mist or whatever that was, and and uh, that's that's really tough to to work with if you're part of the people out there plowing and and because plowing only makes it slicker, and so. Uh, heard lots of, or saw lots of good comments on on Facebook and and heard lots of good comments. Uh, had lots of text about uh, the the job that they did. Uh, I have a neighbor that is has moved here uh, from Colorado, and uh, she was she was surprised um, that. Uh, you know, us, us Missouri folk can can handle the snow too, and and so 
uh, kudos to our street department uh, and everybody that helped with the the cleaning of the streets and and uh, round two sounds like it's coming later this week. So <laughs> so that's all I got. Alderman Barker. I think I would just like to add on that I think one of the things that makes this community so great is that we are lucky to have people who have a real passion and enthusiasm for our community and people like Mr. Hamilton and people like Chief Carey and Tom O'Leary who have been in, who've come here and whether they have were born and raised here or what I call a transplant, which is what I am. Um, I came here and put down roots, and you have those people who kind of, you know, jump on the bandwagon with the rest of us, and they really make this, this community special. So I just want to give kudos to all those people who, who put their heart into what they're doing for our community. We entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.